Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about static discharge wicks, uh, which are found on pretty much all forms of aircraft. Um, you've probably seen them uh, when you look out your window uh, when you're on a flight. You can see them. I, I drew them as these black little things on the aircraft, and they're found other places, but this is just to show you the wing. Um, so you can see they're found uh, normally towards the, the wing tip. Uh, they're always, you can always find them on the ailerons. They might also be found on the flap track bearings. Uh, and I gave a kind of blown up view here of what I've seen them look like. And there's, there's a lot of different kinds since they're used on every type of aircraft. So what happens is when your plane's flying through the air um, up in the atmosphere, uh, there's friction with the with the air that is flying through, and as a result, the electrons can get stripped from the air and become deposited on the aircraft wing or the fuselage, uh, and pretty much anywhere. And when that happens, then you have this kind of charge floating around on the plane. And if you don't have these wicks, uh, normally the electrons will tend to flow towards something kind of like a sharp object where they can... Uh, diffuse back into the flow, so they end up accumulating near the radio communications areas and antennas and stuff, and what can happen is you'll have the electrons will ionize the flow and create a corona, similar to the corona found, or not found, but created when uh, with re-entry vehicles in the Earth's atmosphere, so like the space shuttle, you've probably heard that uh, it, it ionizes the, the, the gas uh, behind the shock wave and then radio communication can be lost so uh, that's obviously a bad thing to happen for a plane so what they do is they add these static discharge wicks which act as a pathway a more desirable pass the pathway uh, back into the air for all these electrons um, let me see so bonding strips are used to connect all the parts of the all the uh, conductive parts of the aircraft so that the aircraft is at a fully, like a fully equally charged essentially surface um, so that if one part of the, imagine that the fuselage was was becoming charged and it wasn't conductively connected to the wings where all the static discharge wicks were and you have the radio communications antenna on top of the fuselage and somebody forgot to, to bond it then all those would be kind of, all the electrons would be stuck on the fuselage and would have nowhere to go except for out the, the antenna uh, the radio antenna, which would be a bad thing. So that's why they use bonding strips. Uh, you can always find, so you'll always be able to see the static discharge wicks. When there's winglets, they'll be on the winglets as well. They're on the tail, they're on the horizontal stabilizer, the vertical stabilizer, um, and they're mostly found in, at kind of sharp uh, corners. And I don't know, I, I, I've seen that, the, that they're made out of, some of them are made out of carbon fiber, uh, thin carbon fiber rods inside of an insulating material. I'm sure there's other there's other methods, but pretty much the so the bonding strips used are going to be uh, they're going to be conductive, or really conductive, so that they allow the you know the charge to flow through them. The uh, static discharge wicks are actually resistive, uh, very resistive, because they not to keep all the charge on the on the plane, but it's to uh, control the rate of the discharge from the plane. Because you you don't want to have arcing uh, from the from the plane when it's when it's discharging, so that's why you'll see these kind of weird wick things uh, on the edges of of the aircraft. Uh, thank you for watching.